Uh, tough game for us. Came out on the short end of the stick, obviously. Um, starting out, felt good about matchups. We felt good about the competition. We felt good about what we brought to the table today. Game started. Uh, usually we always start out positive. Um, we started, I think the first ball was deflected. The second ball, um, we didn't bring that in. And it just was just just not a rhythm. Then we came out and Shador did something very uncharacteristic of, him, of himself. Uh, never makes a bad decision, especially in that part of the field, which they got to pick six. Um, after that, we were just trying to play catch up. Defense surrendered some things early, but I'm really, really pleased with the way they played in the second half. It seemed like we were a team of second half defensively. We just got to get it going earlier. Uh, but overall, certainly not happy with the outcome, but I'm, the positive things, uh, the way we've competed in the second half, we had no give up, no quit in us whatsoever. We know we got to do a better job offensively on protection, um, as well as trying to figure out how to establish a run game and be consistent with that. Mm. I'm just excited. I mean, I got to find, you got to understand when you're in a situation like this, you got to find something to hold on to that you can encourage your team. And I'm truly excited about the second half of football that we played. Um, you would have thought offensively would have came in here and, and did half of what we did a, a, a week ago, and it would have been a better contest, but it didn't. They were, had the advantage the whole entire game. It seemed as though young kid did a good job with protecting the ball and not turning it over as well. Um, I'm looking at uh, 23 for 30. That's pretty darn good, uh, 185 yards. Um, but touchdown and no turnovers. I'm not happy about um, nine penalties for 104 yards whatsoever. The game got truly sloppy at the end of it. It seemed like it was just flag at the flag at the flag. Uh, um, they had 12 for 105 normally with that type of <laughs> output of, of, of flags and penalties. You usually come out victorious, but both of us were horrible. And then I expect third downs, 414 is not who we are. Fourth downs, uh, we had two shots at one point to get a yard, and we didn't uh, accomplish that. And that was truly frustrating when we prepare for those type of situations. Uh, we, we were in those type of situations in practice several times this week. I made sure we prepare for those situations, but we didn't get it. So it was what it was. Hats off to uh, Coach Rule. Um, his staff coached a heck of a game. Uh, great guy. Like I said, we came into class together as coaches, so I'm always rooting for them unless they play us. But I'm happy uh, if we're going to get our butts kicked. May as well be him, God fearing man. Let's go. Nikki, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Uh, Nikki Edwards, Hugh Sports Report. Just simply, why was it so difficult for the offense to respond to Nebraska's defense? I have no idea. We would have known that answer. I think we would have responded quicker. Yeah, we uh, seemed like we just never got it going until it was too late. It seemed like we just never got it going. Protections were. What a problem, you know, I'm trying to be polite and say it because, you know, if I, I can say the same thing you're thinking, but if I said, you say I'm throwing my guys up on the bus, I'm not doing that whatsoever. Protection were a problem. We got to figure out a way to uh, prevent that and do a better job with that. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Coach, I have a couple questions for you. First off, are you surprised the offensive line is not getting the push and the protection that you thought they might be? Um, well, first game, I think they did a good job of protecting. I'm not going to say that. Uh, this game, we did. So, um, we hadn't run the ball like we wanted to consistently. Um, but very rarely do you have a great running offense and a great passing offense. Rarely you have that. One is going to have to uh, be the lesser of the two. Uh, well, we got to figure out a way to have a, uh, some type of running game because we have backs that can flat out to it. We really do. Like what I like what I saw out of those guys as well. A second question for you. Can you give us something on Shiloh? It also looked like Chidozi went out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiloh, I think injury reports, uh, I think Harge uh, did something with his foot on one of the punts. Uh, Shiloh, I think, uh, suffered a, I don't know the extent of the injury, but I know he did something to his forearm that, that put him out for the rest of the game. 
Chidozi, I think it's a AC joint or something like that. I think he's going to be all right. I think he's going to consequently play this upcoming week. I don't know about Shiloh. And uh, Shador got dinged a bit on that. Uh, what what they call it? What hit was it? What they call it? Intentional. Intentional, yeah. Helmet, helmet, whatever it was, whatever they call. Targeting. Yeah, targeting. So he got dinged a little bit. So we just wanted to take care of him and get him out of there. Throw me that one. Uh, Coach, when you look at this, you talked about the frustration. Yeah. I'm curious, for you, what was the most frustrating aspect? Knowing that uh, we have a tremendous offense, knowing that we could move the ball, we should be able to move the ball on anyone. We should be able to protect with the experience that, that we have offensively. And uh, we just couldn't get it going today. We, we had some spurts and some great moments. I mean, we had some timing routes that we timed right up. But um, the way we started is just not indicative of who we are. And we just never – got it together did it just I don't know if it just you know sometimes you have those games sometimes you have those days and it was just one of those games and, and days simultaneously no excuses though yes sir uh, coach Lincoln Rhodes to you in the pending so uh, quarterback Shador Sanders obviously left the field with two minutes left in the game is mm-hmm. he physically and mentally okay right now um, yeah I just talked to him he said look pretty darn good to me we just wanted to make sure we get him checked out and we would have every precaution because now you're looking forward to next week. This week, was that was over. By the time he got out of the game, it was, it was a wrap. So we wanted to make sure he was uh, he's going to be okay. So we wanted to get him checked out. Hey, Coach, only uh, four design runs to running backs in the first half. Was that just the play calling or the flow of the game? Or what happened? It was the flow of the game. Flow of the game. I mean, Pat, Pat has done a wonderful job. I, I'm, I'm not going to go there whatsoever. Pat has done a wonderful job of putting us in situations. But we got to want that. We got to want to run the ball. We, you know, we got to have those guys salivating that we're going to coach. Let's run. Let's run. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. So we're going to get to that point. Coach, just going back to the offensive line. I mean, is it about for those guys to improve? Is it just about getting more reps? Because obviously they're still. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not reps. I think all of them have a a plethora of reps in their resumes, don't they? No, I just mean playing together can kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's that because that's the same guys who were out there last week. Yeah, I think uh, they just had our number today. Just simple as that. Sometimes you got to just take your hat off and say, hey, you got me, man. You got it. They did that. They had a they, – they played a great game. They really did. Matt, does it feel a little bit to you like some of these issues that you're struggling with are still the same kind of lingering from last year? Yeah and no. Um I wish I could have struggled with no one really scoring on us in the second half for, I think, two weeks straight. I think I, I wish I could have had those struggles a year ago. Um, those are good um, situations to be in. Now we just got to put it together in the first half. So there's always prog- progress, my man. And I'm looking for that progress. And that's the thing I, I, I tell our guys. Don't look, don't look for the wrong. Let's look for the right in the midst of the wrong. Did it, it clearly felt like you talked about you were repped all this stuff. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Where do you think the disconnect is? Do you have any pressure? semblance of a doubt? We're going to be able to handle the pressure. Not just the pressure of, I'm not saying them rushing the pass, but the pressure of the game, the pressure of the moment, the pressure of the time. You know, everybody want to be him until it's time to be him. we got to be able to handle that pressure. Did it feel like that affected you early at all? Um, I don't know about early. As the game progressed, I think it affected us, uh, nah, not really defensively, but offensively. to belabor the offensive line, but are you kind of anxious to see how those guys respond? Especially? Yeah, that was the whole uh, post-game, uh, not speech, but conversation that we had. I, I can't wait. Everybody in this room is dealing with some type of adversity, and uh, our young men are as well. So I want to see how we all respond to adversity. That's what illuminates us. That's what elevates us. That's what progresses us to the next level, how we deal with adversity. Everybody's got a piece of adversity they're dealing with right now. And those young men just uh, dealt with it in front of millions of people. So we got to see how they handle it. Um, potentially on a similar note, what did you say to your team at halftime? Uh, I don't recall yet. <laughs> because I'm, in, I'm right here now. Like I'm right here and think about you and you all and, and think about what I just said to them. So, Halftime, I'm pretty sure it was a tremendous challenge. I don't get angry, upset, anything. I just try to really get in their minds. 
get in their hearts and, and, and just make us try to propel us to the next level. Coach Trent Finnegan, Scarborough Sports. You guys had seven penalties for 80 yards in the first half. What does this team need to do to mitigate those penalties and stay in random early on? Uh, we can't do stupid stuff. We got to stop the foolishness. I mean, I'm not going to say we ended up well because we ended up 9 for 104, but they were 12 for 105, but they won um, decisively. So sometimes it seemed like it was a flag fest at one point. Like, come on, y'all, come on, guys, come on. It's like, okay, I'm going to take care of you, I'm going to take care of you. you know, it's like, come on now. Uh, that, that one, uh, you can always question things, but the officials do a great job. That one with BJ, that, that I don't know how serious that was, of uh, BJ Green at the, in the, in the, towards the end. You know, I thought he just laid out and was trying to make a play. I don't think he really went meant to rough the pass or whatever they call. But it is what it is. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, let me let me ask my man that he got his hand Thank up. Thank you, sir. Uh, Lincoln Road, just the independent. So, uh, obviously, last year you won the rivalry. In what way, uh, area do you feel that this Nebraska team, especially under Coach Rule, uh, improved in comparison to last year? Well, they didn't they didn't turn the ball over. They didn't turn the ball over. I think we had one, one turnover. They and another pick six. They didn't turn the ball over. And uh, that was it. They made the plays when they needed to make. I mean, that darn should have been an interception that they ended up popping up and it caught. Like, when something like that happens, you just got to take your head off and say, oh, boy. It's not our day, baby, because that stuff just don't normally happen. That, that was crazy. That was a heck of a play. Bentley did a great job, broke on the ball, did with everything he was supposed to do but secure the catch. But – Played his butt off, man. I'm proud of him as well. Last one, sir. Yes, sir. Me, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, Coach, uh, Trey Wallace was without kicking the box. In, in the locker room, what did, what did you see from your leaders in the locker room, maybe post-game? Uh, was, um, uh, you know, you know, speaking up with the I, I don't, about maybe the I, loss? Or that's so I don't really care what I see after a game. I care what I see in the game. Leader leads in the game. I don't want to hear no leader in the locker room leading. You get your butt kicked. I want to see you lead there. Because if you don't lead there, they're not going to listen to you in there. So I don't, I could care less who's rallying them up at the end and leading the prayer in there at the end. I don't care about that. I want to – who's leading us out there? You know, in the timeout, who's getting them together? Who's telling them to run, uh, you know, uh, when change of possession? Who's, who's telling them to run back downfield? You know, who's calling them up in the huddle and, and looking them in the eye and challenging them to do right when wrong is just present? So that's, that's a leader, not the locker room stuff. That's rah-rah. Thank you so much. Thank you.